Okay. Okay. So um, the last video I need to make for you is your um, math because I did the other ones already. So for math this week, we're talking about our hundreds. Um, right now we're going to be making 100. And so some things to think about when you're doing your making. You can decompose your numbers. This is kind of like it's, it's really mental math. It's where your brain, you're using your brain to um, figure out what your answer is going to be. So let's say you have 198 plus 26. So 198, how could we get this up to 200? So we would take from here, we would take 2 from here, right? Because then you have 200 plus, and what, when you take 2 from there, you would have 24. So then plus 24 is 224. Do you see how that is, um, you see how that made that, round, pulled that up to 200? And that was super easy to add 200 to 24. Um, there is also other ways to do that. So let's just say we had 123 plus 99. So now instead of making this one 200, we're going to make this one 100. So from here, we're going to take 122 and 1, and we're going to change this to 100. 100. So 100 plus 122 is 222. Do you see how we did that? So that is the mental math for that one. Um, I think that it will be okay. I don't think it'll be too hard. I think you'll be able to handle it. Um, <clears throat> oh, I, I thought that was your mom texting me, but it wasn't. Um, okay, so then what I'm going to do is you're going to practice breaking those apart. If those are two, if that does not make sense to you, if that is something that it just doesn't, you just cannot wrap your head around it, that's okay. And I'm okay with you doing 122 plus 99 this way and then adding from the ones and the tens. Um, because the next one, they're doing adding the three digit numbers. So if you were to have your paper here and you have your hundreds and your tens, right? Like this, this is hundreds tens and ones. Okay, so you have one 100, right? How many tens do you have? You have one, two tens on that one, and one, two ones. Now, you're going to do nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now what do we have? Well, 9 and 2, that's 11, so that would be a 1, 1, so that we're going to make, you're going to have one of these, and then you're going to add another one here. Then you have 9, 10, 11, 12, that's a 2, and then right here, and then 2. Does that make sense? So 100, 221 like that. Um, you can do it either way, whichever works for you, if it doesn't make sense, because that's what we're going to do the next day. So the first day we do it that way, the next day we're going to do it here. Then, not only are you adding, then you're going to have to rename the ones. Renaming the ones here is like this. It's where you are changing these little ones into a 10 here. These little ones here into a 10. And then over here. We did this when we just did those two digit addition problems and the value of that. So you shouldn't have to, it's not too big of a deal um, to do all of those um, I think that you'll be able to get that. I don't, I really don't think it's going to be too hard for you. Um, so you add and then you carry over. So if you had, if eight plus four is two, 12, you're going to put the two here and then you're going to put your one here. Then you're just going to add straight down. So six, seven, eight, nine. See, do you see how they did that? And then two and four is six. So you're going to do that too. And then the last page for that week is you're just going to do either the tens or the ones. So we've done the we've done the ones, but now we're going to do tens. So we have four and not five is nine, no problem, don't have to carry. But then you have five and seven, and that's twelve. So you have to put the two down here and put your one over here, and then two plus one plus three is six. Okay. Um, and then we had a couple of hundred day activities. Um, I want I just want to give them to you. I think you'll have fun doing them. Um, if you had a hundred of dollars of those, if you had, I want you to do this graph. This is how I'm going to take the grade for this one. And then this one's fun. Um, there's a hidden picture. So you have to draw in color. Now this one is you cut out the 10 bars and then you re-glue them in order. So that's just number sense that I'd like to see if you could re redo the number chart. Okay. Um, 
that is the math for this week. And I think that you, I think you'll be fine. I don't think it's going to be too hard for you. Um, you seem to have a good grasp on math, but if you have any questions, just let me know and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.